Oh Lord, he coming. <clears throat> Oh man, oh man. Welcome to Pokemon Yellow. Um, I say Pokemon Crystal's my favorite, but you know what? I might be lying. Hello! Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself? I study Pokemon as a profession. First, what is your name? We're just gonna go with yellow. Right, so your name is yellow. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. Mm, what was his name again? We're just gonna go with blue. That's right, I remember now. His name is Blue. Yellow. Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. For one, this is like the best song right here in Pokemon history. Fight me about it. I love Generation 1. I love this game. I, uh... I really do think that the first two generations are the best generations, and for some reason everyone on the planet seems to have an issue with that, even though these are the best-selling Pokemon games of all time. They did something right, and they're freaking amazing, but I'm going to try not to talk about that much. I'm not going to make fun voices for everyone, but Oak's an exception. Hey, wait, don't come out. That was close. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. <clears throat> there might be a couple people I give names to. Whoa! Pikachu, and that is a cool guy. Well, that was cool. Very neat. Thank you, Professor Oak. Very cool. Well... A Pokemon can appear any time in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. Good little song, too. Every song in this game is an absolute classic. And a gem and everything in between. <clears throat> Especially this one. Oh. Gramps! I'm fed up with waiting. Huh? Blue? Why are you here already? I said for you to come by later. Oh, whatever. Just wait there. Look, Yellow, do you see that ball on the table? It's called a Pokeball. It holds a Pokemon inside. You may have it. Go on, take it. Hey, Gramps! What about me? Be patient, Blue. I'll give you one later. Sweet! So in this game, you only get one option for your starter. Um, we're gonna see what it is. No way, Yellow! I want this Pokemon! Blue, snatch the Pokemon! Oh, good god! Blue, what are you doing? Gramps, I want this one. But I... Oh, alright then. That Pokemon is yours. I was going to give you one anyway. Yellow, come over here. Makes you wonder if he was gonna give him the Pikachu? <clears throat> Yellow, this is the Pokemon I caught earlier. You can have it. I caught it in the wild and it's not tame yet. This is the first member of our team. And I said I was gonna name... I didn't say anything, but I'm gonna name... Um... I'm gonna name these guys off of... The people that suggested them or fell into the suggestions of I'm um, in the discord so um we're gonna name this one uh uh oh 
So our Pikachu's gonna go unnamed until we get the Lavender Town. Wait, Yellow! Let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Now I guarantee that everyone here... Um... Has at least visited Kanto before. But this is where it all began. And like I said, it's the... It's one of the best Pokemon games ever. Anyways... <clears throat> Pikachu sucks. He's gonna suck the entire game. Um, even though he's an electric type, he's still gonna suck. I know sometimes if you get an electric type, they tend to, like, be awesome or whatever. But that's just not the case. For Pikachu. But we know this. I think we're gonna win this game, though. I think we're gonna take this first fight. And the fun thing is, whatever happens in this fight, determines what evolution this guy gets. Let me, uh... Yeah, as you can see, Pikachu stats. They're fine. Um... Let's, uh, take a peek. Alright, Eevee will evolve into Vaporeon if the player loses against the rival, so we're not ever going to see a Vaporeon, which is good because I want it to be as difficult as possible. The player wins against the rival at Professor Oak's lab, but loses or skips the battle in Route 22 and he gets a Flareon, which has never freaking happened. So, we're going to see if we straight take the L at the... Uh, if we, uh, take the L, next time we see this guy, he'll have a Flareon. If not, he'll have a Jolteon. <clears throat> okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up. Yellow, Gramps, smell you later. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Um, what? Would you look at that? It's odd, but it appears that your Pikachu dislikes Pokeballs. You should just keep it with you. That should make it happy. You can talk to it and see how it feels about you. No. Actually, real quick. What? I think you have to actually finish the next piece of the story quest. <laughs> Since story quest, I felt a little redundant. A Pidgey? Oh, me oh my. Okay. So... I'm going to do something that you guys are going to have to turn your eyes off for um, when we get Pokeballs. And it's going to be great. I think we're going to do this with every one of our teammates, maybe. But spread them out. Because, so okay, let me give you the rundown of how, how we're doing this thing. Um, I'll set the timer for 50 minutes when we finish this chunk of the story, because I did forget, but I asked Discord, I was like, hey guys, I'm going to be doing a Pokemon Yellow playthrough, what Pokemon should I use, and if you guys are here, and you were there, um, you guys as in the people that named him are talking about, whatever, we, uh, I asked them what they wanted, and they all answered, and we've got a, uh, I don't want to say a pretty ragtag team. I think it's going to be fun because we're going to be putting a lot of Pokemon I like on there. But somebody, looking at you, Kiss, recommended an awful Pokemon that we're going to have to get and we're going to have to play with. And it's going to be cool. Because I've, I've used every single Pokemon in this game before. Just, you know, like casually or hardcorely and... We're going to be using one that I have touched, like, once, ever. So, very exciting. Oh, Yellow, how is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to like you a lot. You must be as talented as a po you must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What, you have something for me? Yeah, I didn't really say much about the Oaks parcel. You just walk into the shop, get it, walk. Um, I'm going to try not to just blast through this game without saying stuff, but... To say this is, like, probably in my top three most played game of my entire life, 
would be an understatement. So, I don't mean to, you know, I'm going to try to reel it back a little bit. <clears throat> Gramps! Gramps, my Pokemon has grown stronger. Check it out. Cut to a absolutely jacked Eevee. Ah, Blue, good timing. I need to ask you both of you to do something for me. On the desk there is my invention, Pokédex. It automatically records data on Pokémon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Yellow and blue, take these with you. And you know, I've always, like, it's kind of weird that, like, this is the Kanto region, there's only 151 Pokémon, but all these other regions, like Galar exists in this timeline, to make a complete guide on all the Pokémon in the world, that was my dream. But I'm too old, I can't do it, so I want you to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokémon history. Alright, Gramps, leave it all to me. Yellow, I hate to say it, but I don't need you. I know I'll borrow- I know! I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one. Yellow, ha ha. So if you if you're looking if you're keeping an eye on the dialogue, um, you'll know that there is a uh, not often that a period will be used in these old games. You will just not see it. It's always an exclamation point. But there are some periods out there. So this is his sister. Grandpa asked you to run an errand. Here, this will help you. Talk about an item that is literally completely beyond useless, stinky garbage. Like, what a crappy item that I never get or anything. But, I mean, I think it'd be important if you don't know where you're going. Obviously, it's a map. So, like I was saying, um... That was the first ever uh, Pokédex that has been made, so I think that really does sort of make sense that, you know, like, the Sinnoh region and all these other regions are out there, but, you know, you just don't think about them. Or he didn't really think about them, because he was just making it for this region, it's the first one that was made. Very neat, though, I don't know why. I love Pokémon, basically, you know, whatever. Is our team healed? Our team being Pikachu? Yeah, we're good. Let's do it! It's me and Pikachu in the life. I just don't understand why people gripe about this game. People are always talking about the bugs and stuff, and it's like... If you're doing a realistic playthrough, you're not gonna run into anything wrong with this game. <laughs> And it's like, and if you do, like, people get mad at throwing a Pokeball at a, throwing a Pokeball at a Pokemon and missing, and it's like, it's because the catch rate was just too low. You know, just stuff like that. I'm very, I'm very defensive of this game because I feel like people that talk shit, talk crap about this game, is uh, people that have never played it or have played it once. So. <laughs> Yeah, that's, uh, that's just how it is. It's more often than not, people are like, Dude, Gen 1's busted, it's broken, it's crap, it's garbage. I'm like, have you ever played it? And they're like, no. I just, you know, YouTube told me to, YouTube told me that, you know, YouTube told, YouTube told me to hate it, so I, you know, I, well, I, you know, I, uh, <clears throat> um, Yep, that's, uh, that's how I feel. That's how I feel. Uh, Gen 1's a great generation. Gen t I'm not gonna sit here and say that Gen 2 isn't, like, better or whatever, objectively, but there's something that's gotta be said about the fact that these games are this old and they're still just so timeless. Now, before I keep on ranting for the entire episode as to why Generation 1 is great, we are going to stop that, and we're going to get our second Pokemon! Whoa! I don't know how hard this is going to be. Because we're going to be doing something a little nefarious. Ah! Uh, what if we need antidotes?
Now we're going to do something nefarious. Alright. So, our first team member, I'm going to do the one that Crit Nick uh, recommended, not because I'm playing any type of favoritism, it's just this is the first real recommendation I got instead of team recommendation. Don't look at this. This is completely... You have no idea what's going on here. Alright. And if you have an eagle eye, you can see everybody that's going on our team, but I'd highly recommend not looking, because that's the fun of it. Come on, buddy. There he is! Hello! Oh. Well, the idea here is that we're going to catch a lick of tongue. But I forgot. I didn't forget. Originally when I tried to do this, I accidentally tried to replace the starter Pikachu with Lickitung, but obviously that didn't happen. And it actually made that screen, so I'm assuming something has arrived where you can only catch a, a certain few Pokemon in that grass, and it just won't have any of it if you try to replace them. And I feel like that might be because the Pikachu spawns in there, and they have very strict uh, spawns. But, that's just a guess, of course. Um, yes, if anyone knows anything about Generation 1, crap is annoying. Um, people like to say, like, it's freaking broken, bro, but I'm pretty sure it has, like, a 70 or 80 accuracy. And it does, uh, very, uh, very tiny amounts of damage. Criticals, though, if you get a critical hit with it, it'll keep being a crit. Which, again, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Don't kill, don't kill! It killed! Oh, no! Pikachu is too dang swole. Let me go heal. Actually, no. Potions are gonna be... Potions are gonna be, uh, a little, uh, important, so to speak. So we're gonna try not to use them. Uh, Pokemon games are super slow, so we're just gonna have to deal with that. And I know nobody's uh, complaining at the moment, or maybe you are, and if so, your voice has been heard. But, I don't want to use speed up mode, because, I don't know, that's how I usually play, but this is fun. We're just enjoying ourselves. I was gonna name my, uh, my Pikachu sword piece, by the way, S-O-R-D-P-E-S. No, P-E-E-S, sorry. But... Obviously, I goofed. I didn't even click the B button, I clicked the Start button. And it was like, mmm, no. Get him. Dang it, Pikachu. Whoa! Thank you, Pikachu. Yeah, he has Super Sonic and... Oh, he has Super Sonic and Rap. I don't know if that's gonna mean he's gonna be fun to train. He's gonna suck to train, who's gonna- oh no. Oh no. Hold down that B button, everyone. I said hold down that B button! Come on! This guy's gonna be tough! If I can't catch him, we'll uh... We'll just not- oh, no, we got him. Yes! Okay! I was gonna say, if we realistically can't catch this uh... Super cool, awesome guy then we'll try for someone else, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted this Lickitung. This is how I'm, uh... This is, this is gonna be pretty funny. Crit Lick! Alright. So Crit Lick has joined the team, along with Sword Piece the Pikachu. Now, if you're actually coming off of my Paper Mario video, because I'm uploading these alternately um, once we get to them, 
which should be a couple days from now, um, or a couple days ago, sorry, um, then welcome, and I'm sorry you didn't get to pick any of my Pokemon, or their names for that matter, but I have no consolation, that's just how it is, I'm sorry. Um, the Discord got to it first. Discord saw it first, so if you're not, if you're not there, do the Discord. Um, I think we're gonna put Crit Lick up front, and I think it's gonna go uh, quite well. We all know what that means. That means I'm gonna go up there and fight our rival again. If you guys have played this game, you know there's a rival up there. Oh no, I forgot. Get out of here, you freak. Don't look. Don't look. Quit. Cool, cool, cool. Rap and Super Sonic. I choose the run option. I'll tell you what, I know I just said we're gonna put Crit Lake up front. <laughs> And it's true. I was gonna switch him out for Pikachu. Hey, Yellow, you're going to the Pokemon League? Forget it. You probably don't have any badges. The guard won't let you through. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? That's where he was headed. He was like, oh man, I'm gonna go kill the Elite Four with my two Pokemon, my Spearow, and my Eevee. They're just gonna go ham. Uh. Okay, I was gonna like stay in and try to like maybe do some rap hacks on this guy, but with a leer, I just don't feel comfortable. Especially since we have this guy. Come on, baby! That's what I'm talking about. Now, you can't get anything that learns anything to confuse, so I've never seen this Spiro confused before. Kinda cool. Paralyzed, however. Yes, sir. <laughs> Okay, Pikachu, going off. Or should I say the Spearow's going off on himself? Yes, I know people say you should play Pokemon on set. But it's like, I've never played that way, because I never even thought about it, because I didn't know what it meant. And I just don't think I'm going to start today. I know, like, that's like the cool guy thing to do or whatever. But I don't want to, so. Okay, so Super Sonic's not going to work. And I'd really hate to see Crit like die, because I'm afraid that Pikachu's gonna die. So we're gonna go ahead and switch out Crit Lick, get in on that uh, Thunder Shock action. If he sand attacks me one more time, I'm switching out. Again. It's kind of cool having Oak okay, making me stick to my word. Come on. Oh, yikes. I didn't want that to happen. We will stay in some, for some of that, uh, rap action, though, because he didn't do half. But if he hits us with a tail whip, we gotta go. Oh, yeah. Go crit lick. Go crit lick. What's up? Come on, buddy. Oh, man. And he... Five raps, and he's still confused. Come on. Oh my gosh. We're OP. We're OP. We've, uh, we've crossed the line. That battle can be tough. Like, I have obviously lost to it, but you can just keep fighting him, so he won't get a fairy, a Flareon, I don't think. But, yeah. And a lot of times I'll just, like, lose at the lab because of, like, bad RNG or whatever. And I'm like, eh, hey, whatever. But, you know, this boy right here is the only way to get past Brock, really, in the early game. I mean, you could get, like, a Kakuna and give him... I don't even know if Kakuna's in yellow, but you can get, like, a bug Pokemon and try to get a poison move or whatever. Clefairy learns, uh, Confusion. Um, but this guy learns low kick pretty pretty quick. 
and he's pretty solid against Brock. But I think Critlick is going to be our champion against Brock because I have every intention of only getting one Pokemon before each gym badge. Besides Brock, who's going to have two, because Pikachu is just... He's going to be dead weight, honestly, to Brock. I've done it. Of course I've done it, because it's like... You gotta. But it's not easy, and it's annoying. And it just involves a bunch of double team strats, and tail whip strats, and you might try to fight him with quick attack, and you know, it's a it's a nightmare. Now, let's get out of here. We did it. We got our uh, lick of tongue, crit lick, we fought the rival. Oh, I've had my coffee now, and I feel great. Sure, you can go through. I'm sorry I was so rude to you. I see you're using a Pokedex. I'll show you how to catch Pokemon is my apology. As I'm sitting there with my, um, four and a half foot tall crit lick, saying, I caught this with my bare hands, wrestled them down, <clears throat> weakened him myself. <clears throat> oh my god, that guy sucks. That didn't work. I must be losing my touch. I've run out of Pokeballs too. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't insinuate that I should go to the Mart. And you know what? I think that's all the tutorial that's in this game. And you know what? That's why these games are freaking better. Because they don't sit there and hold your hand for even ten minutes. Oh, God. I just... Pokemon games nowadays just are so annoying. Like, I just quit playing X and Sun. Not, like, quit, like I'm never going back, but, like... Dude, it felt like I was playing them for hours. I couldn't get anywhere. Oh, it was terrible. Hi, do you have a Pikachu? Yeah, so... I hate the newer Pokemon games. The art style sucks, too. Up to Gen 5? Great. After? Well, 5 and 6. No, no, no. 6 and 7 look like trash. Gen 8, though. Whew. I... Whew, I really, really, really love Gen 8. I think it was... I think Sword and Shield are two of the best Pokemon games to ever come out. The music is like god tier. The wild area is so much fun. The game, the region is just great. The Pokemon are phenomenal. I love them. I literally have like almost zero complaints with the Galar region. People are like, oh, it's nice and linear. And I'm like, yeah, but every Pokemon game is linear. In some sense or another. Like in Gen 2, you can. You can battle, like, the 5th, 6th, and 7th gym leader in whatever order you want, but it's still at the end of the day, it's like, you still gotta do your thing. You still gotta do it, you still gotta pretty much do it in order. But. Is this whole series just gonna be, be me defending my Pokemon? likes and dislikes. I mean, I'd be okay with it. I just have a feeling that's where it's gonna go. Because, I don't know, I feel like I just don't line up with the people I talk to when it comes to Pokemon Life. Because, I guess I talk to people that grew up with, uh, late Gen 3, early Gen 4, and those just aren't my people. Because I think Generation 4 was the worst generation of Pokemon. And people are just so nostalgic for it. I'm like, I didn't grow up with you people, apparently. Because this is what I grew up with. And I don't even think it's the best because I grew up with it. I just think it's a great game. I love the sprite work. I love how it's all like 8-bitty... I don't know if this is 8-bit. I'm not very technologically versed. But, you know, I just love the style. I'm of the opinion the first two generations have the best style. Just because... Oh, it looks so classic and good. As opposed to freaking Diamond Pro remakes where they look like tiny little baby things. Ugh. I hate it. Especially the sprite work in yellow. I think the sprite work in yellow is... Like, if you want to rag on red and blue sprite work... I guess. I guess you can get away with it. I guess. Even though red has some very fun, very silly sprites. Yellow, however, I mean, they redid everything, and it all looks so good. They added a different color into everything. They 
at a great price. Everything just looks amazing. I love it. That's why I choose yellow every time. That and I got yellow when I was just a way tiny kid. I still have my cartridge in the other room that I got when I was like five. So we got Stomp, which is a stab attack. I don't think Stomp has like the best accuracy in town, but it sure beats sitting there watching rap. And with some of that stomp. I mean, three stomps on a Caterpie may not be exactly what we wanted, but better than ten wraps. Come on, we're not faster than a Caterpie. I think Caterpie has, like, some of the lowest base stats ever. People like to rag on Lickitung, too. I don't know if I've already brought that up. He's cool. I think he's... I mean, he's super neat. It's like, you look... It's like if you lived in a Pokemon world, and you saw that thing, you'd be like, now that is a Pokemon. Because it's just cool. So, yeah. I'm pretty... And it's not even like I'm going to sit here and stand up for every generation one Pokemon. Though it's true. I would stand up for all... Almost a thousand of them. Almost all of them. I'm, I'm sure there's a couple that I don't like. Like, Nick's a huge fan of Slurpuff, and I think it just looks like disgusting hot garbage. I'm only saying that because I know he likes it, and I think it's funny. Though, yeah, not a fan. Um, but I'll stand up for even that one. I'll stand up for any Pokemon, because I just think they do such a good job. And it's like... It's believable that in a world like this these things could exist, and it's cool that they do. Because if we can have the freaking Caterpillar Pokemon, Caterpie, we can have Lickitung. And we can have Clefki. Because they all just have personality and charm. And that's uh, just how I feel. So... I think we just two-shot that. Lickitung is becoming extremely powerful. I was thinking about supersonicing this boy, because he's going to be setting up like this. But if we miss, we are out of the money hard. Come on, Metapod. I think I'm still three-shot. I'll take it. Lickitung going ham. Crit Nick level nine? Crit Lick, level 9? Alright, well, if Crit Lick is level 9, I want to keep my Pikachu at about the same level. Though Pikachu's pretty much going to be dead weight in this next gym. It's uh, still worth getting him up there, just in case he's not dead weight. That and I want to make sure he gets his next attack. Level 6 Pidgey, though. That's good, uh, that's good training right there. I'll tell ya. That's not the move I wanted. But, it's the move we got. Because, like I said, that's not gonna do anything in this box. <clears throat> Alright, Caterpie, I get it. You're a worthless piece of garbage. Just go down already. I like Caterpie. Um, not anywhere near as much as I like Weedle. I think, uh, the Weedle line is, like, significantly cooler. Though I am a sucker for Metapod. I've always loved Meta Metapod. Like, um, probably because of that episode where... The Metapod used Harden against Pinsir back in the first generation of the show. And the Pinsir was trying to just snap that freaking Metapod in half and he wasn't having it. I was like, oh, oh my gosh, this Metapod is straight beasting. And uh, the two Metapods had a staring battle and they kept using Harden. Very fun. We all remember that fondly, I'm sure.
Paralyzed? Look out. The world will get more fun after Brock. Getting there, however, that's, that's the grind, boys. And you have to sit there and listen to me try to come up with things to say. I'm sure that's the best part of these videos. We'll just try zapping this Metapod, and he's, uh, he keeps hardening, but that's not doing anything, because we're using special. Alright. Dang, sometimes you can make it right through that grass without getting hit. I know there's, like, a speedrun route or whatever to, like, not get hit in this place at all, but... Are you kidding me? You think I'd ever look at that jar freaking jargon? Because I think not. I'm just gonna keep playing the game, boys. That's what I would say if we weren't gonna try it. Okay, so we pretty much nailed it. I'll try to make sure there's no like lag or anything in the next episode. Um, this one's this one was honestly it was just an off-the-cuff rough draft. I didn't really didn't think I was gonna be recording this today, but I mean I figured I'd be recording it today, just not right now. I sort of just like sat down and I was like, alright, let's do it. Just cause like I was doing a recording, not a recording, but I was doing a Pokemon Yellow run before I decided I was gonna do one for the channel officially. And that was a couple days ago, and I just I put like two hours into it and I was like Busting it out on Nugget Bridge, and I was like, wow, this is great. <laughs> I could play this game every day of my life until I die. Which I pretty much feel like I used to do. But I was like, I gotta get this on the channel. I have to. I love this game. This recording might be sitting for a little while, though. I don't know. I might, honestly. Who's to say if I even post this, uh, like, what? Mm, Saturday? I don't know. We might just keep Paper Mario going, and I might just keep this one on the back burner. I don't know. Whoa! Metapod, look out. I sort of wanted, uh... Sort of wanted Pikachu to learn Quick Attack before we got to, uh... Brocker, but that's not gonna happen. So Pikachu's gonna be pretty much dead weight, except for Tail Whips, which we're gonna do against Onyx. It's kinda cold in here, that's why I'm sniffling. <sighs> that and I came off of a, uh, Crazy snooze. I uh, sort of just woke up and felt inspired by how late I slept on an accident. So I had to do something like this to make myself feel worthy again. That's 35 HP on that Lickitung. Let's check his stats. Mm, I'm not, uh, I'm not upset. Has more defense than Pikachu. You know what? Lickitung is uh, not looking too hot at the moment, but I promise he will. I love Lickitung, man. I love all the single stage Pokemon Generation One. I think they are all just genius Pokemon. I love them. Tangela, Magmar, Electabuzz, Tauros, Mr. Mime. Um, Electabuzz, Lapras, Pinsir, Scyther, I mean, they just, I know I missed a couple, um, but, gosh, dude, they're just so cool. Kangaskhan. Quit Luke! This guy has no, this guy has no health stat, and his defense isn't great. Let's do it. Give him a two-shot. Oh, oh my gosh. He's just gonna go ahead and two-shot him for fun. 
this is a great uh, this is a great trainer right here to uh, grind levels off of in the early game if you need to. Because killing that uh, Diglett is nothing. And then usually this guy can just wall you real easy and just destroy you real fast, so. But we have Stomp, which flinches if you're faster. Can flinch if you're faster, sorry. Boom. Absolutely crushed. I'm actually excited for Crit Lick. I'll have to uh, look up his uh, moveset. And we'll uh, have to see if he really is going to be any good or not. Moves wise. I think he's going to be exceptional, regardless. And you don't have to rebeat Brock, I'm going to throw another. Uh, Throw another boy on the team. I already know who it's going to be because we can naturally catch it. <laughs> okay, this guy doesn't learn anything good. This guy's going to be all TMs all the time. So, let's get ready for that. <clears throat> Stomp is going to be his only damaging move, so we're going to learn Slam at level 31, but doesn't, uh, doesn't take me to tell you that's not something I'm looking forward to. We might eventually give this guy Body Slam, the TM that we find, but that's going to be way later. Probably like three or four parts later, honestly. So we smack that boy, um, time to fight old Brock. I believe in rock hard defense and termination. That's why I mean my Pokemon all rock type. Do you still want to challenge me? Fine then. Show me your best. Alright. This is uh Brock, the first uh first gym leader. Everybody knows Brock. This guy's like the coolest guy ever. And he's got that classic Geo dude. Because of course he does. He has to have a Geo dude. Super Sonic. Oh man. Having confusion tactics in this first gym? Oh, man. Who would have thought? Stomp. Let's see. Okay, um... It has flinch. So... Oh my gosh, double flinch. You missed your tackle? Oh my gosh, I think tackle has a 95 accuracy in this game. Hey! Also, people like to nag, whine, and complain about the 1 in 256 chance to uh, miss any attack in the game, and I'm like, you've clearly never been to the casino. That's a very, that's a very small chance. And if you think that's going to be ruining your game, or even affecting it in the slightest, you are... Poorly, you are just poorly mistaken. Clearly mistaken, you're mistaken. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, we're going with uh, Rapax. I know he has Bite, but it's like I still wanna... I don't wanna sit there and just spam Super Sonic. And I don't think Rap will do enough to work. Bide will just destroy us, and if it does... Oh, if he hits himself with confusion, he just gets stinky pooping on. What a baby! Come on, Onyx. Confused no more! I think if we actually wrap him, it stops Bide? Is that what's happening here? No, it is not! He's like, uh, are you kidding me? Um, Bide does double damage back to whatever you did to him. We took four damage. Which is like the least I've ever seen come off of a Bide. Which is super nice. I think I'm done using Rap. This is kind of a drag. Even though we were just beating him up. That was a five Rap.
see how much damage Stomp does. I'm not gonna do another one, because he has buy that, but we will supersonic him. Look at tongues like Cohen Ham. Yes! No bide for you. I know I said I was tired of going for rap, but I don't know. Look at it. Is it getting more damage per second than Stomp would? Look out! Freaking crushed. Crit Lick went ham. Crit Lick went ham. Okay. Yeah, we got Stone Badge. Uh, kind of neat. We got Biden. He tells us what a TM is. is. We all know what a TM is. Yeah, he's actually a breeder in this game. Kinda cool. Pewter City Pokemon Gym Leader Brock. Winning trainers. Blood. Yellow. I think it'd be fun to be named after color, after a color. So, how hurt are we? Okay. I was gonna say we could just keep going and not heal again, just because we're cool guys. But we're not cool guys. Come on, Nurse Joy. And, uh, yeah, in yellow, she gets a fair um, sorry, a Chansey behind her desk with her. And sometimes you get to talk to it. Very nice. What do you think? What? You're asleep! Are you kidding me? Oh yeah, you can talk to Pikachu and he can make all types of uh, fun stuff. Let's we'll see what he thinks of us. Okay. Those are the eyes of a killer. Let's get out of here. We didn't, we didn't talk to Professor Oak's age and, and grab that potion. I'm sure there was one person that was like, You fool! Are you kidding me? We could have done the uh, Brock out of walls glitch, but... I don't want to do that. It's kind of scary. What if we never come home? Um, Crit Lick just destroyed a whole gym, so we're probably going to put Pikachu in front, let him deal with all these stragglers. I knew she started with a Pidgey, that's why I, that's why I said that, but we have Crit Lick up front, so we're just going to keep uh, probably missing because we got Sand attacked. But we're going to try to keep stomping. Okay, we didn't miss like any raps against Brock, but we've missed two stomps with one sand attack. Whoa, made up for it. Let's zap these boys. Not bad, not bad. I have been playing Omega Ruby though, that's been taking up my time, and I think the third generation is fine. Lots of cool Pokemon. Um it is just been painfully easy. I've just it's like if you have the XP share on, you can just use one Pokemon the entire game. And even if you, even if you want, it's like any Pokemon can take on any battle because even if they have the same level Pokemon as you, they only have one, and you have six. So, a bit of a 
Uh, a bit of an under sight, I guess. I don't think that's really the word combo, but it's kind of a shame. I really wish they would just have beefed it up a little bit. It's like, I think in Pokemon games, it's like making your own challenge can be fun, but having at least a little challenge there is also fun. I'm using a Surf Skip for God's sake, and he is just like the MVP. I refuse to evolve him, he's like level 45. I know I said we were gonna put, uh, old Pikachu back up front, but... It simply is just not happening at the moment. Due to my gross negligence. He's looking better though, getting a little more tanky. Still kind of slow. I'm okay with a guy that has higher physical bulk but still has some decent special. That and we can teach Lickitung like Blizzard and all that. I'm really, I think I'm more focused on teaching him Thunderbolt. Because I'm almost positive we can learn that, and I just think that's a good thing to have. Okay. See, we don't keep uh, Pikachu up front because he's just gonna get freaking bodied by a Rattata. Oh, this guy's no joke. He's really just taking us to town, huh? Come on, buddy. Just crush him dead, please. I, um... I might... I might hold off getting our next Pokemon when we get to Mount Moon, just for the sole reason that, well, I don't think I will, because I think it would help, like, keep our levels in check, because, like, I know it seems like there's a lot of Pokemon trainers right now, but they, it thins out a little bit. Where we can like really just start checking stuff out without stopping to fight all the time. I mean, there's gonna be fights available, ones I'm probably just gonna skip or put some XP into some littler guys. Um, either way, we'll uh, we'll see. We're almost there. We might get there before the recording. We might cut the recording right before we walk in. Um, that's probably what's gonna happen. I think we're gonna get. I think we're gonna get through this route. And then we're going to call it quits. But, still have a few trainers to go, so don't get sad. Bug catcher. Oh god. Weedly. Pikachu's back for some vengeance. Just to prove to me that he's not actually Stinky Garbo. Come on! Dang. I mean, we all knew it wasn't going to take him down, but it was like... I'm sitting there in the anticipation of it. I guess we were sort of just hoping... There we go! Quick attack. And of course, I'm going to get rid of Growl for that. Because... Though... Tail Whip is not all that good, it is much better than Growl. Because then at least we can drop some defense on something we have no chance in taking out. Uh, I mean, that's about as half as half's gonna get. We'll see if that kills. I'm not confident it will. 
like we went up a level, they went up an evolution. Shaboom. Destroyed. Caterpie. Um, just gonna run Thundershock that. This should be a two-shot kill. I don't know why it wouldn't. Come on. Man. Well, a crit pretty much just ensures it. And you're done, Caterpie. I'm gonna try not to heal anymore. Like, go back to the Pokemon Center and heal. I obviously have to heal this poison off of me. And now that we only have a Metapod out, which probably knows Tackle, unless he caught it as a Metapod. But I really got uh, too scared of a Metapod. As the Metapod reaches the Hyper Beam. I was gonna quick attack it for the meme, but like, we might not kill it. Pikachu has a decent base speed, so we're gonna get a decent amount of crits. Because critical hits go off of base speed in Generation 1. Which makes Poliwag kinda nuts, because Poliwag has a crazy base speed. Pikachu, my man. Oh, almost got that level 14 Spiro to half. Oh, crit! We got him in two! Nice. That's a nice chunk of S XP. Good old Pikachu. Alright. Oh no. That look you gave me is so intriguing. Alright. Sent out Ratata. You're going down, buddy. Boom. That looks like a two shot to me. Bob. You know, it's kind of nice giving Pikachu some some love out here, because the farther we push him until he dies, which mean, means the longer we can use Lickitung and not feel bad about it. Whoa! We weren't ready to lose him that soon! Now I gotta feel bad about using our Lickitung that's still a higher level. Crit -lick. Nice. I will not be nice, I apologize. Like I said though, we're gonna try not to heal. Shame. But I think there's only two more trainers. Come on, Caterpie. Get wrecked by this giant salamander. Thing. Get stomped. Metapod not as fun because he boosts his defense a bunch. But we're still gonna two shot him because he pledged. What a fool. Done like dinner. Darn tootin'. You got crushed. Get over it. Eek! Did you touch me? No. Can't say I did, you freak. What do we got? Jigglepuff. It's kinda cool to just see a Jigglepuff out here. Cause it's like, you haven't seen one, and she's just straight got one. And it's level 14 at that. No! Dang it! Mm, generation 1 sucks because if you wake up, you actually have to wait for an attack! Oh, dang it, I took eight damage! Sleep isn't that bad. Wow, 
Lickitung's stats are starting to come into their own. A little tough when they're just a real baby level to just get a good eye on their stats. Um, if for whatever reason you're playing along, I believe there's a Sand Shrew and a Jigglypuff hiding in there. That guy doesn't do anything, he just talks to us. Alright. And would you look at that? That's uh, probably where we're gonna end the episode. Um, let's, uh, real quick. Obviously, we have to do this. Hello there. Have I got a great deal just for you? I'll let you have a swell magic card for just $500. What do you say? I say heck yeah. exactly what I'd say. This is a phenomenal purchase. The fact that you can just, like, train a Gyarados real fast, and you can have a, well, you can train this Magikarp real fast, and have a Gyarados before you leave Mount Moon? Um, yes please. I've done it in quite a few playthroughs. Just because it's such a good deal. And you get a TM inside of here that works really well. Maybe not really well for Gyarados as a Pokemon, but it's still Stab, so... Alright everyone, we're gonna get out of here. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Pokemon Yellow. Um, much like the first episode of Paper Mario, it was a little slow, but we did get some levels on our boys. We had a good time, and I think it went well. I'll, uh... Hopefully I'll post this soon, I'll see you for episode 2. Uh, when in between Paper Mario. Goodbye.